Okay, so yesterday we put the CPU into the uh, MSI Z178 Gaming Pro Carbon, and today we're going to put the memory in, which is not a big task, but yesterday we did notice that we had a little bit of dust buildup on our motherboard, and whether it was from the factory or just from our own environment, uh, sometimes it's a good idea to use something to just clean it off. And this is one of these, uh, these typical dust remover sprays you can get at any high-tech store. Um, the main thing to realize that, is that they do look, they, they can leave a little bit of temporary condensate on the uh, motherboard, so you don't want to do this ever when things are plugged in. But for now, it should just go on and blow off the air and then evaporate. So we're going to just do this quickly. Okay, so now our motherboard should be fairly in good shape fairly dust free you don't have to do this every time but since i did notice a particle on there i figured it was a good idea to uh to kind of dust things off um the next thing is um a matter of which slot do you actually put the uh the ddr4 memory in and if you look at the uh instructions here it says always insert memory modules into the dim2 slot first and of course here's the overall board and it shows you where the DIMM2 slot is. So the DIMM2 slot here, here, here corresponds with this DIMM slot here, which I'll just push out, push out the uh, the connector thing. Um, and then basically we're going to be putting the other memory module in the DIMM4. So it's DIMM2 and DIMM4 that we're filling today since we have uh, two memory modules. So this is a very easy task. And we should have this done very, very quickly. Of course, once again, you're dealing with um, you're dealing with components here that are static sensitive, so you want to be very, very careful to make sure that you are discharging. So, touching many things, especially the uh, metal case, is a very good idea to make sure you discharge before you even uh, attempt to put the memory in. So, I'm just going to take the memory module out, and of course, these are shielded. Um, some memory modules will have bare chips, but as long as you're touching this part of the uh, memory module, you should be um, quite fine. So we're going to first go into DIMM2. We're going to press down, and we should hear a bit of a snap there. Okay, so we got a snap on both sides. And then we're going to take the other memory module. Once again, I'm trying to avoid touching the gold plating. Uh, these are keyed, so they only go in one way. Uh, DIMM4 is over here. And I will press down once again, one snap, two snap. And that's it. That's really all there is to putting in the memory. So that's a fairly easy uh, task.